morning guys. I'm going to show you something today that you can do with a plastic bottle. Now, there's two things you can do. So this is part one, but you need to keep the bit we cut off for part two, okay? The first thing you need to do is take the label off. Now, there is, you are going to need to use some scissors for this. So just be a little bit careful or get an adult to help you. This is the tricky bit. Are you ready? Look. Oh, oh. Oh, it's a bit tough. So I'm going to cut all the way around. There we go. So I've got two bits. Now we're going to save this bit till later. One side, and I'm just going to use this bit, and it's such an easy thing to do, but it's lots of fun. So, the next thing that you need is an old sock. Oh, it's a bit smelly. I think it must be one of my children's because my socks don't smell. If it's a bit holy and old, that's fine, and I'm sure lots of you have got an odd sock basket like me with lots of odd socks in. Then you've got to stretch over the bottle, which is a little bit tough. If you haven't got a sock, an old pair of tights will do. Just a minute. Oh, it's a bit tough. Squish it in. And like this, look. Squish it right down. There, look. Make, try and make it nice and tight on the bottom but leave the top open, okay? Now you are going to be blowing through this, so just be careful. And if you've got lots of people in your family that want to have a go, maybe have one each, just to keep all the germs safe and keep you safe. Okay, so I've got this, and the next thing I've got is a bowl of water. Let me show you. Oh, I'm not going to tip it, but it's full of water. Then I'm going to get some washing up liquid, okay, and I'm going to put a really big squirt of washing up liquid in here. Are you ready? Can you watch? Ooh, really big squirt. I'm just going to give it a little mix. Wait till you see what happens. It's so exciting. Then I'm going to dip it in. Oh. I'm trying to lift it up, guys, but I don't want to spill it. So I'm going to dip it in, make sure it soaks all the way in. Look, it's dripping off the bottom. Give it a really good mix. It's a bit messy. You might want to do it outside in the garden or in your yard or the bathroom or just put a towel on the floor. Right, are you ready? There we go. There you get your sock. You blow as hard as you can. <gasps> Look what happens. I'm making a mess, guys, but I don't mind. I'm going to do it again. Dip, 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 dip. Shake it off. I'm ready. Steady. what you can do with the other part of the bottle that we cut up. Here it is. Okay, you need this and you need some paper, any old paper, some scrap paper, back of a cereal packet. The first thing you're going to do is draw a tree trunk. You can paint it, you can colour it, whatever you fancy. So now that you've got your tree trunk drawn or painted, you need to get some paint. I've put mine on a plate and I've chosen my favourite colours, red, pink and purple. But you can do any colours, you could do a rainbow tree because lots of people are thinking about rainbows at the moment to help them feel cheerful. And then you get your bottle like this because look it's got little bobbly bits. And wait till you see what happens when I dip it in the paint. Look, oh, dip it in the pink first. Dip, dip, dip. And then I'm going to 
press it on my tray. One, two, three. Look, it's my little bottle tree. So next I'm going to do purple, I think. Whoops, two, three. Oh! And then red. Mix it up. Oh, it's getting a bit messy, look. Uh. One, two, three, four. Shall I show you my tree? It's beautiful. Look. 